Nationwide staffing shortages are impacting everyone, including law enforcement. And down in Georgia, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office is 59 deputies short, making it harder to respond to all the calls down there and forcing some deputies to work nearly 80 hours a week. Joining us now from the department is Sheriff Tim Pounds and Lieutenant Colonel Tavarius Pounds, who is also the sheriff, sheriff's nephew. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sheriff, I'll start with you. Why are you seeing so many officers leaving? Pandemic has a great deal to do with it. And, uh, of course, the other part is money. You're looking for uh, better pay. Have you noticed that some of your officers say it's not worth it because they're not getting the support that they need. And I'm sure you're giving them the support, but from some of our local leaders or our national leaders that say they want to uh, strip your pay, they want to strip your budgets. If majority of my guys is 386 officers, not officers, 386 employees all told. Yes, sir. And uh, most of them are loyal. So the, they know a light is going to come. They, we just don't know when that light's going to come. So they work diligent just as hard as they can, week by week by week. But I took a little slack off of them. I took the command staff and put them out there on the street, kind of get these guys a break. They have to do it every month. Mm -hmm. Some do nights, some do days, but Loyalty is what's holding mine together right now. Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel, how about you? How many hours are you working extra per week, and are you getting burned out? I'm actually not working a whole, a great deal of hours overtime uh, because I'm on the command staff, and mm -hmm. in my position, I'm not allowed to get overtime. So our people, our frontline workers, are do doing a great deal of overtime trying to make ends meet, trying to be at all places at one time, just trying to make the county safe. Well, that's so nice of them to work that extra time. I'm sure they love it when they get their paycheck, but I mean, I'm sure they're exhausted and they need to hire more people. Sheriff, when people come in to apply for these jobs, are you hiring them immediately? What's the process? Uh, yes, ma'am, not exactly immediately, but we had a two day job fair here this past weekend and uh, we gathered 77 out of that two days and uh, you know, we've got some taking polygraphs, some um, in different stages of the process now. We don't know how many of them are going to actually make it to the finish line, but it's a, we got a total of 77 out of that job fair. 77 that you hired? Yeah, we ain't hired yet, but we're in the process now. Okay. If they make it, yes, sir. you know, some of them might, may not pass the polygraph okay. or... All right, Lieutenant Colonel. The what? Others, what sort of other tests? Agility tests? Physical agility tests. Yeah, they someone may to, not be able to pass that test. They have to pass a physical agility test. They have to be able to qualify with a sidearm. Okay. There's a, a number of things that they have to do before they actually can get hired and have to go through a psyche eval. Got to be able to pass a medical evaluation. I hope the majority pass so that they can help you protect your community. Lieutenant Colonel, what about the community? What are they saying? Are they worried about this problem? In some cases, we don't, we don't hear a whole bunch, a bunch of backlash about this, really, uh, because we're doing the best that we can, and we are doing far and beyond what we can. We're doing more with less these days, and it's just the community has been great to been supporting us a lot. But uh, hopefully, like the sheriff was saying, that we can get some of these people in this office to take the stress off yeah. of these frontline workers. It's been really giving their all so that we can have a safer community. Well, Sheriff, what can we do to help? Because I know that a lot of your officers are burned out and they're working extra hours. What can we do? Well, kind of same thing the community does. Communities have really stepped up for us because we was already a community-oriented sheriff's office. Yes, we sir. get out there among our people and play ball with them and shake hands and find out exactly what's going on with them. All so right. we are in great contact with them. Well, guys, and they talk to us. They don't have anything yeah. to hide from us. They We're see up against some. a heartbreak. Thank you for your service. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.